Good morning everyone. Today in English, let's continue with the exercise of our chapter Happy Deepavali. So hope you understood the past tense and the past continuous tense that was taught in the previous class. Now let's move on to today's class. Let's learn about punctuation. So we have already learned some of the punctuation marks like full stop, question mark, exclamation mark. Today we are going to learn about apostrophe. So what is an apostrophe? Let's look at these sentences. You can see here Rohan's bag. Here an apostrophe is inserted and after that an S is written. That means Rohan's bag. The bag belongs to Rohan. So apostrophe tells us that something belongs to someone. So why did we use here Rohan's? Because we have to say that it belongs, the bag belongs to Rohan. So we have written Rohan's bag. And how do we use that? After Rohan, we have to insert an apostrophe on top and then write yes. So it becomes Rohan's bag. Let's look at the next one, Rohan's shoes. So what is it saying? It is saying that the shoes belongs to Rohan. And how did we write it? Rohan apostrophe S. Yes. And how can we read that? Rohan's shoes. Bird's nest. That means the nest belongs to the bird. And after bird, you can see an apostrophe is inserted and S yes is written. And we can read it as bird's nest. Rohan's mother, that means the mother is of Rohan. So we can write it as Rohan apostrophe S yes, and we can read it as Rohan's mother. Tom's hat, the hat belongs to Tom. So we can write as Tom apostrophe S yes, and we can read it as Tom's hat. We add apostrophe S yes to a noun to show the ownership, that is to show the belongingness. For example, you can say cat's dishes. We have already learned singular and plural nouns. If it is a singular, we say cat and in plural we say cats. But here this is not the case. Here what it is? Here it is referred to as cat's dishes. That means the dishes belongs to the cat. When in plural, we don't insert an apostrophe. When do we, apo when do we insert an apostrophe? When we are saying something belongs to someone. So here Cats, dishes means the dishes belongs to the cat and so we have to insert an apostrophe and write S after that. Boy's book. So what does that mean? The book belongs to boy. It doesn't mean that there are many boys. It means that, that the book belongs to the boy. So we read it as boy's book. Now you can take your textbook page number 52. You have insert the apostrophe at the correct places. So let's read the questions first. The first question, the hat that belongs to mother and they have given mother's hat. We have to insert the apostrophe at the correct place. Second one, the house that belongs to Rita and they have given Rita's house. Third, the book that belongs to the girl, the girl's book. Fourth one, the cat that belongs to the boy, the boy's cat. The toy that belongs to the dog, the dog's toy. The cap that belongs to the player, the player's cap. The book that belongs to Gina, Gina's book. The football that belongs to the girl, the girl's football. Now we have to insert apostrophe wherever it's needed. Now let's do that. Let's look at the first question. The hat that belongs to mother, mother's hat. So where should we insert the apostrophe? Mother apostrophe yes. So it becomes mother's hat. So insert an apostrophe in between R and yes. The second one, the house that belongs to Rita, Rita's house. So we have to, where we have to insert the apostrophe? Rita apostrophe yes. So insert the apostrophe in between A and yes. So it, re, it is read as Rita's house. The third one, the book that belongs to the girl, the girl's book. So insert the apostrophe near the place of the girls. Fourth one, the cat that belongs to the boy, the boy's cat. So near the boys we have to insert the apostrophe boys. After Y insert the apostrophe and yes the boy's cat. Fifth one, the toy that belongs to the dog. It is the dog's toy and where we need to insert it? The dog's. 
after G and yes in between G and S insert the apostrophe. Sixth one the cap that belongs to the player the player's cap so after player apostrophe yes insert the apostrophe in between R and yes. Seventh one the book that belongs to Gina and it is Gina's book. So we need, we need to insert it Gina yes in between A and S insert the apostrophe. And the eighth one the football that belongs to the girl the girls football so girls L S in between L and S insert the apostrophe the girls football. So hope the apostrophe is clear to you. Now let's move on to the next exercise revision of full stop and question mark. We have already learned the punctuation marks full stop and question mark where we need to insert a full stop and where we need to insert a question mark. So now let's revise once more. A sentence that tells something is a statement that is a sentence which is saying something. For example, if I say I am hungry means I am saying something that is a sentence, it is a statement. And for the statement we have to use a full stop at the end of the sentence. We have to use the full stop only after the sentence ends. And we always have to begin a sentence with a capital letter. A sentence that asks something is a question. So when we are asking something, are you hungry? That means I am asking you a question that whether you are hungry or not. So in that case what we have to do? We have to insert a question mark at the end of the sentence. So whenever we begin a sentence we have to begin it with the first letter has to be begin with a capital letter. Let's move on to our exercises. Page number 53 B. Tick if the punctuation marks have been used correctly. So some sentences have been given and they have inserted the punctuation marks. We have to check whether they have inserted correctly or not. And if it is correct we need to tick it. So let's move on to the questions. The first question you can see I am sleepy and they have inserted a question mark there. The second one is the sky blue there is also a question mark. The third one what time does the class start there is a full stop there. Did you wash your hands before eating a full stop is inserted. I went to see a play yesterday a full stop you can see there. Now we have to tick which all punctuation marks have been inserted correctly in these sentences. So look at the first sentence I am sleepy is it a question no. So do we need a question mark there? No. So that is not inserted correctly. The second one is the sky blue? A question is being asked. So a question mark is inserted that is correct. Third one what time does the class start? It is a question being asked. So there a question mark has to be inserted. Did you wash your hands before eating? That is also a question but they have given a full stop. Is it correct? No. I went to see a play yesterday. So that is a statement and a full stop is inserted. Now let's correct it. The first sentence I am sleepy it is not the correct one. Second one is the sky blue the correct punctuation marks have been inserted and you can tick that near the second sentence is the sky blue. Next one what time does the class start? It is a question being asked but they have given a full stop. So is it correct? No we had to insert a question mark there. So that, that punctuation mark is not correct. The next one did you wash your hands before eating that is also a question being asked but they have given a full stop. So that, that punctuation mark is also not correct. And the last one I went to see a play yesterday that is a statement being said. So there a full stop is being inserted. So that sentence is correct. So the two sentences are correct in that is the sky blue and the last sentence I went to see a play yesterday. So you can tick these two sentences there. Now let's move on to our next exercise. Put full stop or question mark at the end of these sentences. You can see that page number 53 itself. So now let's read the sentences. First one I am hungry. Second can I go home now? Third where are we having lunch? Fourth let us play. Fifth that was a nice game. Sixth why are you crying? So we have to insert a full stop or a question mark according to the sentence. Now let's check. The first question I am hungry that is a statement so do we need a question mark there no. So what we have to insert a 
full stop at the end of the sentence. I am hungry and put a full stop there. You just need to insert the full stop there. Second one, can I go home now? That is a question being asked and we have to insert a question mark at the end of the sentence. Third one, where are we having lunch? That is also a question being asked. So which punctuation mark? We have to use the question mark at the end of the sentence. Fourth one, let us play. That is a sentence, that's a statement. So just put a full stop. The fifth one, that was a nice game. So that is a statement. And what we have to insert there? A full stop. So insert a full stop at the end of the sentence. Sixth one, why are you crying? That is a question being asked. So we have to insert a question mark at the end of the sentence. And always remember, whenever we begin a sentence, the first letter should be a capital letter. Let's move on to our next exercise, dictionary skills. In the dictionary skills, we have to learn alphabetical order. So what is alphabetical order? We have learned alphabetical order in our previous chapter itself. Today, let's revise what we learned in our previous class. We know the English letters. What are they? A, B, C, D and so on. It goes till Z. So there is an order for these letters, right? So whenever some words are given, we have to arrange it according to the alphabetical order that we have learned in our previous chapter. Today what we are going to learn is, let us look at these words. What are the words? Red, rose, rat, rice. These words begin with the letter R. So how can we arrange this in the alphabetical order? When such words come, we have to look at the second letter because the first letter of all these words are the same. It is R. So how can we arrange it? We have to look at the second letter of these words. For example, R, E, D, red. So which is the second letter? E. So we have to look at the second letter. Second, we have rose. R, O, S, C. -E. So we have to look at the second letter that is O. Rat. R, A, T, rat. So which is the second letter? A. The next one, rice, R-I-S-C, rice, second letter is I. So according to that, we need to arrange these words in the alphabetical order. So now let's see how can we arrange it. Look at these words now, rat, R-A-T, rat. Now the word rat has come first because the second letter A, we have arranged it in the alphabetical order. Now we have arranged it like rat, red, rice, rows. Now we can say that these words are arranged in the alphabetical order. Let's look at one more example. We have ant, axe, arm, apple. All the words begin with the letter A. So what we need to do? We have to check the second letter of these words. So ant, N is the second letter. Axe, X is the second letter. Arm, R is the second letter. Apple, P is the second letter. Now how can we arrange it? And in this, which comes first? N comes first. So we can write and, the word and first. Then comes apple, arm, axe. So now these words are arranged in the alphabetical order. Now let's look at these words. We have duck, dam, drive. All these words begin with the letter D. So what we have to do? We'll check the second letter. For the word duck, we have U, the second letter, with the word dam, A is the second letter and for drive, R is the second letter. So dam comes first because D-A-M. So the word dam should be written first and then after that drive and then duck. So now this is arranged in the alphabetical order. Rewrite these words in the alphabetical order. In page number 54, you have this exercise. Let's check the first one. Butter, baby, B. So how can we arrange it? What we have to do? All these words begin with the letter B. So we'll check the second letter. The second one, nice, nurse, neat. All these words begins with the letter N. Third one, jog, judge, jam. And the fourth one, mother, marry, music. Let's see. The first one, butter, baby, B. So baby is the second letter is a. So baby has to be written first, then B and the third one butter. So this you can write it down in the space provided there. The second one we have nice, nurse, neat. So which word comes first? Neat, nice, 
nurse. Third one, jog, judge, jam. The word jam comes first, jog and then judge. Fourth one, mother, marry, music. So, marry comes first. Look at the second letter A. So, marry, mother and the third music. So, this you can write it in the textbook and the rest of the exercises that is from the question 5 to 8. It's homework for you to do. Arrange these words in the alphabetical order. Next, we have the writing. You can see pictures given there, right? So, now let's see what have to be done there. Look at the pictures. Write two sentences to describe each. So, in this first picture, what you can see? You can see two children celebrating Ramzan. You can see the moon in the sky and they are celebrating Ramzan. And who celebrates Ramzan? The Muslims celebrate Ramzan. In the second picture, you can see children playing with colors. And on which festival do we play with colors? It is Holi. Now what you have to do is write two sentences about each festival. You can write down that in your notebook. Let's move on to our activity. What do you do with plastic bottles? Let us use them to make dolls. So you, always you discard the plastic bottles after its use, right? So here they are telling us to make a doll using a plastic bottle. And in this way, we can recycle the what? plastic bottles also. So now let's see. For this, you will need a plastic bottle, glue, cloth to cover the bottle, waste paper, masking tape, black wool, sketch pens, four to five buttons. Now let's see what we have to do. Follow these steps. Take the paper and roll a tight ball out of it. This will be the head of the doll. So first take the bottle and then take the paper and roll. Make a tight ball out of it and this we can use as the head of the doll. Cover the paper ball with the masking tape and after that making that into a ball cover it with the masking tape. Stick the head on the cap of the plastic bottle. Hold it for a few minutes till it dries. So after rolling it put it on top of the plastic bottle. Using glue cover the bottle with cloth and after that using a glue cover the bottle with a cloth. Stick buttons on the dress. So you can stick the buttons on the dress that also using a glue. 56 page number turn the page. After that cut some pieces of wool and stick them on the head to make your doll's hair. So after that take some wool and cut it and this you can use as the hair of the doll. Use sketch pens to make the eyes, nose and lips and once you have done all these things mark it using a sketch pen. Mark the eyes, nose and lips using a sketch pen. The plastic bottle is now a beautiful doll. Now your doll is ready. So try doing this activity with the help of your parents. Next we have my word bank. Write the new words that you have learnt in the story. So when you read the chapter, what all new words you came across, find it out and write down here in the space provided. And with this, we finish our chapter. Happy Dipavali. Hope you enjoyed learning the chapter. We'll be meeting with a new chapter. Till then, thank you. Mm -hmm.